and it was just a nightmare situation from there on. So the important thing as bus drivers is before we make a turn, we have to do our best to calculate and determine if we are going to be able to make the turn or whatever driving maneuver we have to do. We have to figure out if we're gonna be able to do it before we commit to it. But even after you commit to something, if you see that you're gonna potentially hit something, my advice is just stop. It's better to stop and block traffic and block everybody and have a delay than to hit somebody, hit a car, a person, anything like that because that's gonna really be a nightmare. He ain't lying. Why you not lying? informed that I had the schedule? Man, why I, are you I left out of, on a schedule out of DC. My question to you is why are you Man, I'm not talking to you. I was not informed that I had the schedule. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This your bus company. I don't care. I was not informed that I had this schedule. Well, I left out of DC yeah, on a schedule. Nobody yeah. told me that I had a schedule to Atlantic City at all. Nobody told me I had There's a schedule. No I'm taking the bus to Atlantic City, but I was I came in late from DC. No no so I'm I'm going to take everybody to Atlantic City except for this lady. I'm going to Atlantic City. You can't do that to me. Watch me. Watch me. I'm still going on. Watch me. Look at him. I guess it won't move. You still getting on the bus. That's the fact. You supposed to be going to Atlantic City. You won't be going on this bus. I don't give a damn what you do. So a couple of notes here from what I can observe is there's a bit of a misunderstanding here. Of course, we don't have this situation from the very beginning. It seems like they started filming somewhere in the middle of this altercation. Now, the bus driver was unaware of a particular schedule. I'm not a Greyhound driver, so I don't know exactly how this works, but it seems like they are fussing at her about her being unaware of a schedule that she's supposed to operate. And the lady says, but this is your bus company. And the driver's like, well, I wasn't aware. This your bus company. I don't care. I was not informed that I had the schedule let me tell you something even here in public transit we don't be knowing everything we don't be knowing everything we don't know everything for the grammar police sometimes we find out stuff at the last minute sometimes the passengers will know more information about a situation than we do so as far as the passengers are concerned especially a somewhat long distance trip that you're going to take on greyhound compared to public transit i can understand their frustration because the bus driver says she was late so people are going to be upset when the bus is late it doesn't matter what happened i get upset if i'm flying somewhere or if i'm taking a bus or the train and the bus the train the plane whatever is late i'm like why are we late i need to get to where i gotta be on time but at the same time i'm not gonna go and yell at whoever's operating the vehicle or the vessel because nine times out of ten it's not their fault that the operation is running behind schedule so i can understand the bus driver's frustration because she's probably doing the best that she can now the only question i have i don't know greyhounds policies and procedures and what they use to determine if a person cannot ride or not. But in a situation like this, can the bus driver say, I'm taking everybody except for you? I mean, it would be nice because who wants to drive a bus and you have the person on your bus that's arguing and fussing at you? I'm not sure I'm interested in that. Because the sad reality is somebody fussing and yelling and cursing at a bus driver technically is not breaking any laws. Now, if you show yourself to be out of control and unstable, I do believe that is something that can allow you to put potentially be denied a bus ride because you do have to have control over yourself. Basically, as a bus operator, we have to dig deep within and find something within us that will assist us in remaining calm, professional, courteous, if possible. And I try my best not to respond to disrespect. Because once they film us and put it on social media, we then become the villain. And in a lot of cases, the company is going to look at you like, hey, well, you're the professional here. So you lost your temper. You started arguing. So you're at fault. So what do you all think about this? Do you think the bus driver is being downright rude and disrespectful? Do you think that passenger is being downright rude and disrespectful? Do you think the bus driver has a right to deny a ride because she's going back and forth and arguing with this person?